Well, as part of Believe in Music Week, we get to do some spontaneous things. Um, and one is to celebrate family and to bring families together uh, as, our, as our musical world does all the time. So we're joined um, online with a couple of our close friends today. And I'm going to start with that because we're going to start with a little conversation going. So let's bring in Fred and Dinah Gretsch, Jerry Ash, and I think there's some other ashes in there as well. So <laughs> let's bring everybody in. Welcome to Believe in Music, everybody. Um, Fred, I, I mean, you called me a couple weeks ago, as you often do, and it's usually about something education or something really important that you're working on. And this was a slightly different call. You want to tell, me, tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I will indeed. Uh, uh, my wife, Diane, and I have worked together here in the business 42 years, and we, we learned of the passing of Bernice Ash, mm. and we, we so respect uh, her years in the business and the wonderful family that, that uh, she raised, uh, that she and Jerry raised for all those years, and we were, we were close to the Ash family back almost 100 years ago, my grandfather. Uh, and my, my, my uncle. And uh, so it was our idea to create a scholarship for the Ash family in, in memory of and honor of Bernice Ash. And, and that's, that's where we began the discussion, Joe, and you yeah. took it from there. Well, you know, first of all, Jerry, it is so good to see you. I mean, you were looking fantastic. We're just, we love you and we're just so sorry for your loss. So sorry. Um, Thank you. Enough words cannot be said about Bernice Ash's role in all our lives, right? I mean, countless industry members today owe her <laughs> their entire careers because they learned everything they know from Bernice. Yes, she, she was an exceptional person. She loved people yeah. and it showed. Yeah. And she got the love back from so many customers, from so many suppliers. It was just wonderful. It's a lot of fun walking in an AM show and they walk up to my parents and say, Bernice! <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> yeah. yeah, the stories, the stories she they could tell. Hmm. She gave so much advice to the Hal Leonard people. Yeah. They was, when she would come along, they would just light up. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone in print, print music today that doesn't owe a great debt. To Bernice, don't you think? Say it again. I don't think there's anyone in print music today that doesn't owe a great debt to Bernice, don't you think? I think so. Yeah. She she loved what she was doing and it showed. Yeah. And she was creative. She gave them ideas for uh, books, yeah. which they followed. Smart. They didn't just say yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they followed. Well, and I have to say to Fred and Dinah, what you have done touches my heart so deeply. Yeah. Well, it's going to my have... My family and the Gretsch family have a long, long history together. Yeah. A couple actually, of Brooklyn guys. It's actually five generations working with four generations continuously. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome when you think about it. Pretty crazy. A manufacturer and a retail relationship that has lasted that long might yeah. be the longest one that this company has. If yeah. I'm mistaken. Yeah. Fred's uncle, Fred Jr., was not only running a very successful business, he was also the president of a bank. Wow. And my brother and I were Brooklyn yokels <laughs> who happened to have a store in Hempstead. We wanted to open a second store on Long Island, and we didn't know where to go. I mentioned that to Fred. He took a day off, came, picked us up, and took us out around the, uh, the further east on Long Island and helped us pick out a store. The generosity of that is incredible. And because of that, we were a chain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two stores. Oh. Yeah, that was our third store. And suddenly, we became somebody. Yeah. Before that, we were 
like everybody else, a nobody. Yeah. In a sense, this company wouldn't exist without the Gretches. Wow. Well, we got three generations of the Ash family on the call, uh, 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 second, third, and fourth. And, and we got two generations of the Gretsch family on the call, the four, fourth and fifth. Da daughter Alina's on on with us, and 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 she's been in, in the business with with us here twenty seven years this year. So <laughs> time flies. You know what I think in the music industry? Um, haven't we seen everybody grow up? Yeah. I mean, I think about when I first met Jerry and Bernice. And they were 40 years younger. And I remember, you know, Sammy as a young kid, really, you know, walking around the NAMM show when he first started with his ponytail, too. <laughs> but, I mean, I think in the music industry, we've all sort of grown up together. And as Jerry says, yeah. you know, we're just like yeah. family to one another. And the Ash family, I know, has always been close to the Gretsch family because it's like, they started it all, yeah. you know, so many years ago in Brooklyn. And, um, and you know, you just think of all the people that would be so proud to see all of us, yeah. how we've all stuck with the business. Yeah. So it's really great. So to honor Bernice is really in our hearts because, yeah. you know, she took me under her wing a couple of times at NAMM shows and things like that. So uh, she was somebody that, um, you know, I could look up to. Yeah. Now, it is the industry story that we all dream of, to see multi-generation businesses impacting music, impacting the world the way you have. So after Fred's call, I have a monthly call with Sammy, now on Zoom. We've gotten technical these days, Sammy and I, <laughs> and we wax philosophically about life and business. And so on this uh, next call, I said, Sammy, guess who called me? Fred called me. Really? What do you want? He's got an idea, and let me just run it by you and see if, if you're open to it. He, he would like to honor your grandmother or your mother with a scholarship fund within the NAM Foundation to celebrate the up and coming professionals and make sure that they feel a part of all this and, and that we keep talented people in the industry because that's what we need to grow, right? And, and so Sammy said, you know, that sounds kind of good. I mean, you know, we could raise a couple of bucks. What did, what did Fred say, thinking it would be a, a small little donation? And then I shared with you what Fred said, and I, I thought we'd lost the connection because you went silent for about two minutes. <laughs> you, I've never seen you speechless. You were speechless. <laughs> it takes a lot to make me it, shut up. It still pounds in my heart when I think about it. Oh, my this God. Yeah, I'm generous. So then, Sam, then Sammy goes, let me talk to the family. So I, I, I'm sure, that I can't even imagine the conversations that occurred, probably first with you, Jerry, then everyone else. Should we, what would it look like? Is it, you know, I know you guys are all so humble. You never want to be, you know, above the, anyone else. And, but it is the right thing to do to honor Bernice and to inspire other young women in particular to find their role in the business. So yes. uh, you oh. got an email back and it was a go and then, here we are. We're, we're going to we're going to announce it today, aren't we? Aren't we? <laughs> Is there a way that we could make sure that women uh, have a, a, ch a good chance or a better chance at these scholarships yeah. than anybody else? I, I think we can do that. I, I think we have uh, the ability and, and the encouragement, and we want that more than anything. Our industry needs that type of diversity. Uh, yes. Yes. In Bernice's honor, we will do that for sure. And, I'm, and I thought of something else. Uh, you just give give out a scholarship, but let's make sure it's a, to a, a, an accredited school. Yep. <laughs> and that uh, whoever the mentor is yep. gets copies of uh, the the uh, receiver's uh, marks yep. on yep. a regular basis. Yep. Because yep. it's just easy to just pocket the money and forget about it. But we really <laughs> want to improve yeah. the lives of people in this industry. But yeah. not only improve the lives, but make sure that this industry grows with yes. whomever. Like, it would be an honor, and like, 
with me being, I've got a few more years in this business, at least a few decades. And I'd love <laughs> to, I hope. I, yeah, I'm saying, and I would love to see that, first of all, it's an honor even just to be part of this meeting, but to be able to say in a few decades, I remember when we honored so-and-so with yeah. this, and they're now running the show doing yeah. this, that, or the other thing. So that would just be an incredible thing to see. Yeah, We can have women governors, women senators, <laughs> women <laughs> presidents, uh, mayors. Yeah. But in the music business, they, they practically don't exist. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. No, there is to... no reason for it. Which, which is why I'd, I'd also like to invite uh, Crystal and Sharon uh, from uh, Swim. Yeah. And Robin. Robin, Robin Lenta. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Get a little. And Robin, of course, and, and Mary. But get a little insight from them as to what they might want to see out of this. Yeah. I'd like to make it as inclusive as possible. Yeah. You know, I always like, I'm an end zone guy. I like to start with where are we heading? And the end zone for me on this one is, is you said perfectly, years down the road, in senior positions, in ownership positions around this industry, we point to young people who came up and said, I was a Bernice Ash Memorial Scholarship winner, and it changed my life. That is the end zone for this program. It is. That yep. be it. So, Fred, that back was... to you. So I called Fred back, and... Uh, we're going to announce it right now. And Fred, I'd like to, and Dinah, to have you please announce what your opening gift is to create in the NAM Foundation the Bernice Ash Memorial Scholarship Fund. Uh, we, we, we get, the Gretsch family provided, uh, Dinah and, and me and Lena, who's on the call as well, provided $50,000 to kick off the, the, the scholarship program. That's nuts. We start this with $50,000. Who's in? I'm in. 55. <laughs> 60. <laughs> We're all. <laughs> yeah. Um, we would love to have wide industry participation in this. And again, in Bernice's honor, but in the spirit of what our end zone is, to create a pathway for young people to grow and to thrive in this industry. I, uh, what a generous, generous opening gift from the Gretsch family. Yeah. That is incredible. <laughs> Unprecedented. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. What, I mean, I was, I was just. just saying, I'm just saying thank you. That that is. I mean, but uh, yeah, thank you, friend Dinah. Really, thank you so much. That's more than generous. Joe, as I told you, um, I've only gone in this industry once before, hat in hand. Hat in hand. <laughs> only once before, and that was because it was extremely personal to me. This one is also extremely personal to me. Yeah. I'll be more than happy to beat the bushes and talk to people and see what else I can do about helping raise money, including go to my family. Yeah. Anyone else that I think can help. I think if we can get enough money and make this thing sustainable, perhaps even down the road, possibly tiny, small grants, who knows? Yep. So uh, I would set a goal right here and now. I mean, not that there's not tens of thousands of people watching, so I guess we're going to be on the hook if we say it. Uh, right here on Believe in Music TV, I'd like to set a goal, an initial goal of raising $100,000 for the Bernice Ash Memorial Scholarship Fund. We all in? That's it. Be hard. We're all in. <laughs> let, let, let's do it. Let's do it. We're halfway yes. there. We're, we're more than halfway there. More than halfway there. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been such a pleasure having you on Believe in Music TV. I'm so sad we couldn't be together at the NAMM show this year. Uh, we just couldn't do it, but we will be back again and we'll be able to celebrate all the good things that will come from this work that uh, Fred and Dinah have, have led uh, in, our, in honor of our dear, dear friend and, and mentor, Bernice Ash. So, Jerry, again, heartfelt from all of us. We Thank love you. you so much. Much. Thank you, guys. And is there a way to tilt this toward women? Yes. We're, we're going to work on it. Yes. We will. Yeah. Well, uh, Jerry, Jerry got Ash. lots of women on this call, so yeah. they'll be sure yeah. we do it. <laughs> From the whole Ash family to the whole Gretsch family and the whole industry in general, yeah. we thank you so much for this initiative. We will not let you down. And... Uh, my mom is probably looking down at all of us with yeah. this huge smile. Yep. So thanks again.
And, and you know what, I, before this, I was just watching your mom's oral history again on the NAM site. Uh, and that smile and that beautiful, oh my gosh. Go back and watch whoever needs a shot of enthusiasm and passion for this industry. I encourage you to go back and watch Bernice Ashes and of course Jerry interview on the NAM Oral History Program. Um, it, will, it will impact you deeply. So with that, we sign off. We carry on with Believe in Music TV. Thank you all for joining us in live on this. It's just such a great, great spirit to have as part of this program this week. So again, thank my you, thanks Gary. to all of you. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. You're Bye, Gary. in my heart forever. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Wonderful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.